2002, the first report on public land office and effectively uh, was reported. Subsequent in terms of uh, development of technique and technology, um, proof pieces, wet resections, and in the last two or three years, lobectomies, pneumonectomies, and segmentectomies uh, have been reported. This is a meeting we held in Hong Kong last month of the first Asian single port bass symposium with uh, Tommy Danico, uh, uh, Diego Gonzalez Rivers, and Gaetano Rocco. We came and did some live surgery uh, with us uh, with uh, lobectomies, and um, it was uh, well received by 150 delegates. So for us, um, advances in VAT really have allowed further min minimization of the excess trauma for most uh, patients undergoing the major lung section. And um, single port uh, VAT is now possible. Um, single port VAT may be associated with less pain in terms of recovery and improved cosmesis, uh, but uh, we really need to look into more prolonged data. So on the left side is uh, standard thoracotomy. Uh, on the right side, uh, in fact, is a three port VAT. Uh, the cameraman has very kindly hidden the posterior port for me with the ruler. But there are three wounds here. This is a patient who's undergone a single port uh, left lower lobe lobectomy for early stage lung cancer. So, um, although it's got a major difference in terms of wound sizes, um, having two or fewer wounds uh, may be better for the patient. The aim of the study is really to uh, report our technique and to review our early experience, very modest experience, and outcome for single port bath lung resection. And that includes uh, wet resections, lobectomies, and pneumonia. We retrospectively uh, looked at our data and uh, which uh, those uh, operations we performed uh, over a uh, seven or eight month period in our institution, pre and intra op and post op data were reviewed. Um, patients were anesthetized in, as in any other pre port bats uh, with a lateral position, 30 degree table flex, bridging. Um, for the upper lobes, we tend to use a fourth intercostal space, and for the lower lobes, we tend to use a fifth intercostal space uh, in the anterior aspect of the chest. And we target the wound for wedges around 3 cm and for lobectomies around 4 centimeters. Um, a lot of time we use conventional VATS instruments with a slight bend to it. Uh, the ScanMans uh, instruments that do a lot of uh, VATS, nice VATS in instruments. I personally also go for a set of uh, inlet instruments with a 5 millimeter shaft and uh, also a slight bend at the end to help with dissections as well. I, I personally prefer 120 degree lens scope. This is one by Stores uh, with a uh, reticulating uh, lens at, at the front. Uh, Olympus do a very nice one as well with a flexible tip. Although single port can be done with 30 degree lens actually. And um, the flexible stapler is uh, really essential um, to complete the um, <coughs> single port uh, lobectomy to get the angle for the uh, vascular uh, dissection. Um, a lot. Some of the uh, wet resections we do, we use a wire guidance, uh, and some just uh, using a um, uh, finger palpation or CT guidance. And this is the sort of wound that we're looking for, three centimeter wound. For vas um, all the obviously all the instruments have to fit in through this one wound, including the scope, the stapler, and the retractor, and uh, we're able to remove the, lo the lobe and the specimen uh, with a four centimeter wound at the end. We tend to place the drain at the posterior aspect of the single port wound. We've also done the left luminectomy as well with uh, individual high ligation and the delivery of specimen through a five centimeter single port wound. So this is a very brief video, uh, edit video of a right upper lobe uh, lobectomy um, that we perform. So just a single wound, uh, really around four centimeters. Uh, we use the store's uh, endo uh, curve instrument to free the inferior pulmonary ligament as such. This particular case has a nice uh, fissure. Um, it's almost uh, the upper lobe is sort of falling out um, uh, with a complete um, horizontal fissure. So we're just dissecting the hyla. We use a lot of uh, peanut or uh, dental pledget uh, for the blunt dissection uh, and just uh, freeing up the uh, right upper lobe pulmonary vein here. In fact, the single port, because the surgeon is looking through the camera anteriorly, um, it sort of mimics an open surgery, so it's quite easy to learn. Um, this just freeing up uh, some more of the uh, attachments for the, for the vein that's um, back higher. And going around with a um, right angle instrument. We routinely uh, sling our vessels with a heavy silk tie and uh, using a flexed uh, endo stapler and uh, staple reset the pulmonary vein with something. 
you'll notice the camera moves a bit um, with a single core because all the instruments are fighting a little bit. You're fighting with the cameraman. Every time you move your retractor, every time you move your uh, dissecting instrument, the camera will move a little bit, but uh, you just have to get used to that. So after stapling the vein, uh, we isolated Truncus, uh, to the right below from the artery. <coughs> Very much in the same way you would do a standard three port back to the back. So going around with the right angle uh, on both sides to um, isolate the pulmonary artery. So, um, and then staying it and then staying it afterwards. Now that um, uh, Echelon has uh, come out with a power Echelon, um, there's a lot more stability and um, you don't have to have so much force when you fire. So that helps with stabilizing the image and also um, stabilizing the uh, vascular dissection as well, uh, vascular separation as well. And finally, we go for the uh, upper lobe bronchus, uh, which goes around uh, the top of the hyla. So we can see the bronchus, um, I see the rings of the bronchus. Uh, the zygus is there, um, and we just get rid of all the soft tissue, superior and inferior around it. Uh, again, sling the um, upper lobe bronchus and then, uh, as you can see, it's coming out nicely. Um, and then with heavy silk tie, and also a, a crush, we can crush it with a um, sponge holding before we apply a stapler to complete the upload bronchus. And we do air, air tests before we uh, fire the staple, make sure that we've got the right airway. And for this particular case, it's just a posterior fissure to complete um, with um, three or four firings of One more firing, complete. Uh, we also do the higher uh, dissection in terms of lymph nodes. You can see lymph node in the uh, interlobar area. Um, we do a standard uh, suprinal um, dissection by pulling uh, forward at the lobe and then doing the suprinal area. And the paratracheal space as well, uh, we would open up completely uh, to look for lymph nodes, veins are there. So we open up the paratracheal space completely. So for the results, uh, we've only done a modest uh, seven cases of wedge resection due to single port, two with the Hawaii guidance. We've done two right lower lobes, uh, one right lobe, two left lower lobes, and one left below, and also one uh, left luminectomy as well. The pathologies for the wedges were uh, three benign and two granulomatous uh, changes, and uh, two metastases, uh, both for colon XCA, as it happens. And for the lobectomies and luminectomies, they were for standard early stage uh, non small cell lung carcinomas with a dominant or annual carcinoma as in this region. Uh, briefly on the results, um, the median port length is around three centimeters for the wedge, uh, around four centimeters for the lobectomies, and uh, for the single luminectomy that we did, it's around five centimeters. Blood loss is uh, really minimal uh, for all of them, and the operative duration is not dissimilar really to uh, three port bats um, after the first one or two cases uh, with the learning curve. And also for the chest drain output in the first 24 hours, uh, for the wedge is 85, and the lobectomies and lunectomies are actually quite reasonable. Chest drain duration uh, for the wedges were around 1.5 days in median, and the lobectomies around two days, uh, with a um, the range up to four days for a minor air leak we had for one case. For the lunectomies, we normally remove the drain on day one if there's no bleeding um, from the patient. And for discharge, uh, it's two days for the wedges, three days for the lobectomies, and five days for the the reason why we keep the luminectomies for uh, four days more after the chest drain has been removed, we just like to keep, see the level go up in um, the chest drain and see that the CRP in the uh, white cell count uh, has normalized. So there's no mortalities or major morbidities, and at follow-up five months, there was one minor wound infection in the lobectomy group. So in conclusion, our early experience with uh, SP VATS lung resection has shown that it can be a safe procedure with early, a good early clinical outcome. Uh, can be introduced into an advanced VATS program center like ours, and the long-term outcomes will obviously be 